everybody. Welcome back to this episode of Water Talk brought to you by Water Online. My name is Angela Godwin. I'm coming to you from the show floor here at WevTech in New Orleans. My guest today is Matt Stevenberg with Badger Meter. Matt, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it. Thank you. It. Happy to be here. Yeah, we uh, we love catching up with Badger. You guys are always just so innovative and, and always on the, the edge of, of what's new. And uh, speaking of something new, water quality yep. is new to Badger Meter. How does that kind of fit in with your core business around uh, water measurement, water metering. Absolutely, yeah. So Badger Meter, been around for 117 years, really around residential flow mm -hmm. metering, right? That's been our core business. Uh, but water quality is really new to our portfolio within about the last two years from the acquisitions of ASCAN and ATI, uh, really focused on online, inline, reagent-free water quality monitoring. Mm -hmm. uh, and it may seem like it's it's new, new to us, but we've actually had it in our mind for about the last 15 years. Uh, we filed some IP, uh, 15 years ago around water quality monitoring adjacent to water metering and so i think right now really it's just it's the right time for water quality i think it's it's on everyone's mind more than it has been in a very long time and when you look at really where the metering technology has come to where we're back hauling not just you know a water meter read for the use of a bill but temperature flow rate pressure uh, a lot of other parameters from the distribution network that can help a utility optimize their process well beyond just just generating a bill for the usage of, of the water. So uh, I think water quality between the technology applications of being right from the power consumption and the durability of the sensors uh, to also then the adjacency and how it really adds value to the utility customer, it was right for us. And, and about two years in now, we're really seeing the value extracted from, from the acquisitions. Couldn't be more excited about the cultural fit, the technology fit, and how we're able to provide more value to our utility customers. That's wonderful. That's awesome. But I want to know a little bit more about ATI and SCAN. You mentioned um, a couple of things that are interesting about their technology, but what, what really sets them apart yep. from others in the market? Absolutely. So SCAN uh, had been around for about 20 years, mm -hmm. been out of a university in Vienna, Austria. Uh, took what had been a desktop piece of, of spectral photometry equipment and made it field deployable. So using light to detect the qualities of water mm -hmm. uh, in a field deployable manner, making water visible to, to everyone. Uh, ATI, by contrast, while still in water quality and really making deployable low power sensors, electrochemistry by nature. So ion selective electrode. Uh, so when we look at the portfolios together, uh, very complementary in how they flesh out a total package of of online, inline, reagent-free mm -hmm. technologies that can be field deployed and really provide insights to those users. That's great. So now tell me in, in your thoughts, from your perspective, why is water quality monitoring such an important part of the more holistic smart water solution? Yep. So I, I think, you know, grab samples and lab-based water quality monitoring has been the go-to, mm -hmm. right? And, and we will never replace the lab. There are certain parameters of which have to be done for compliance reasons and everything else in a lab. Um, but really, when you look at the, the granularity of data you have, I mean, you've got a snapshot in time. Mm -hmm. And so now deploying sensors for online real-time measurement, you now see all of the, the changes that might happen that you might not have ever been aware of. And you're now able to use that data for optimization of process. So whether that's in your plant doing aeration optimization of your wastewater treatment, mm -hmm. or whether that's in your distribution network and optimizing how much chlorine you're putting in or maintaining water quality down to that end tap uh, in your clean water side, mm -hmm. or monitoring and ensuring that your industrial users on your network aren't discharging you know, non-compliant water that's going to kill off your wastewater train. So all of those, those applications where online real data, you know, not relying on a grab sample, I think just adds value to and allows the utility to really understand what's going on within their network. Wow, that's really fascinating just to be able to have that insight. Absolutely. Very, very cool. So, you know, if our viewers are watching and wanting to learn a little bit more about uh, SCAN, ATI, Badger Meter, where would you send them to, for yep. information? So certainly badgermeter.com, uh, and that'll have links into the other uh, websites as we, as we pull everything together as well. Otherwise, scan.at uh, or uh, analyticaltechnology.com as well. Excellent. Well, Matt, thank you for joining us today. Really appreciate your insights and, uh, and your time. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. For Water Talk, powered by Water Online, my name is Angela Gottman.